So I'm gonna kind of get into more of what I'm you know mainly talking about in this video. Is this a good hold or so? Honestly, if you're looking for the quick flip, if you have a pair right now and you hit on the Verdi's Gift Shop website. Hey man, say hey man, it's Armand Too Real in the cut on the mic. As you can see, and today we're gonna be discussing the upcoming birdies. Well, they've already released on the birdie like website, which I didn't even know about until like the day they uh, did the like raffle or whatever, the EQL raffle. I'm pretty sure it was an EQL raffle, but I'm not completely sure. It might have been. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was an EQL raffle, but all I know is you, you know, entered up the raffle on like the birdie website. I forget what it's called, but I didn't even inform. I didn't make a video even talking about this. I did a previous video talking about these upcoming birdies, but I didn't talk about how they're gonna drop on. I didn't know that they're doing like a release on like a birdie website which is like the brand owner i'm pretty sure this is like some i forget i just know birdie's like some fashion like type like i can't i can't i don't know what the name is i can't like think of the name i'm pretty sure he's like he's pretty big he's done other big collabs especially with sbs like whenever i signed up for the raffle i noticed that like the website whenever i got an email unfortunately saying i did not hit on them which apparently botters went crazy on that release. I know a lot of people manually though that hit, so it's pretty crazy. I didn't expect not, I mean, I expected not to hit obviously because this is a super release, a super limited release, but I did notice it came from a girls don't cry email, but hey, we gonna be getting all that. Drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff for more fire sneaker info and all that good stuff. But yes, yeah, so we're just gonna get right in this video. So yeah. So today we're gonna be talking about the birdies. Like I already said, these are coming up. They're dropping this Friday on the sneakers app, which the sneakers app you can never depend on. Apparently there's gonna be super limited stock. Apparently uh, rumored to be only 20,000 pairs worldwide, which is super limited. Like I don't, I can't think of like the last like SB release that's been this limited. So this is one of those ones that's, you know, might do good over time, but I'm about to, you know, kind of get into that soon. I'm about to look at like pr market right now. I'm pretty sure it's ranging from around 350 to like $400 in bigger sizes. That's probably why I didn't hit honestly on the very website. I went for 13s only. So that's my personal size, but you know, I, I mainly was going to get these as for, I don't think I would have like wore them, but I mainly just got them, you know, just a review for my channel and stuff like that. Also, I'd probably, honestly, I'd probably hold on to them for a little bit. Just, you know, seeing like stock is only going to be 20,000 pairs worldwide. I already know sneakers is going to have barely any stock because I'm just assuming sneakers is just going to get like leftover stock. The main way to like, I feel like this is going to be kind of like the Futura drop. They did main, like most of their stock on the Futura like laboratories website. So they did like EQL with Futura. So I'm assuming this is like the same thing. They probably put most of their stock, like they offloaded most of their stock on the uh, Verdi website. So I'm assuming that was like the main way to get this shoe. So I'm kind of like sad that I didn't get to like let, I didn't make it, I didn't even say that in my video talking about how like the, I mean, it wasn't a how to cop video. It was just kind of like a, you know, explaining like this is going to be, you know, a, like a soon drop that's going to be pretty good. So yeah, they're going to be a problem. I think that was the video title. Like the Verdi's are going to be a problem, which they are a problem obviously like hype is crazy on this like apparently pe more people want this pair than what i thought honestly but yeah i'm gonna pop a market and then i'm gonna get back with y'all so yeah hold on a sec okay looking at current market on these it's pretty crazy they're kind of holding at like really high they were super high like whenever i did that video talking about they're gonna be a prom a size 13 there was like a sale for like a thousand something dollars there was crazy sales on this pair and other smaller sizes too which is you know this is kind of like you know some girly type colors like the pink the light blue you know obviously a guy could wear there's a lot of guys that want this pair but obviously girls are gonna go crazy for this shoe too because this look a smaller size right now probably gonna pop up market on the screen right now a size four and a half ask is six hundred bucks last sale was thousand dollars which was a little minute ago so there's only been one sale on a size 4.5 men's but you know smaller sizes are going pretty crazy you know which are kind of girl sizes but bigger sizes too are going more crazy honestly like a size 11 11 and a half 12 13 which all those sizes and sbs are always very limited especially in a release like this this shoe looks very detailed you know with the fur on it and stuff like that it looks like Oh, okay, like with the fur and stuff on the shoe, it looks pretty hard to make. So I'm pretty sure they didn't want to make, obviously they probably didn't want to make a bunch of these. And obviously it's an SB, so SBs are always super limited. I mean, look at any other SB collab that's dropped, the Haritos, Udos, Prados. I mean, any other SB release that's been a collab in the past like two, three years, or like really like year or, or two, because you know, the Haritos actually didn't come out that long ago. I feel like, I feel like they came out like last year, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, this is this is obviously one of those releases that's gonna be very limited. So I see this Friday whenever they release, a lot of people are gonna take L's because sneakers. I feel like it's not gonna get many pairs at all. I mean, I feel like it's gonna be laughable how much stock sneakers gets. Whenever uh, stock monitors pull up, like pull up for these, 
they usually pull up like the day before or even like the day of like a couple hours before the release like whenever they drop on sneakers but if you have access to like stock monitors and stuff like that like on a discord or whatever or if you just find out through whoever uh that i mean it doesn't really do you too much good but i guess you can know if you know the numbers like how many is going to be releasing in each size it kind of like let you know what size you should maybe go for so if you're looking for you know the flip or if you're just looking for maybe you know size swapping into your size or whatever you know if you do want this shoe for the personal because i know a lot more people want this pair than what i thought I did not think many people would go crazy for this pair. I was assuming like, okay, they'll probably drop down to like, I think my estimated resale for this pair was around this like price range, honestly. So I was kind of spot on, but you know, this is like a harder to wear shoe, but people just like this type of shoes. I mean, look at Grateful, like I compared them to the Grateful Deads in my last video. I mean, look at all the colorways of those, which I feel like those are probably similar in stock because this pair is super limited. Like this is very limited. I mean, look at, um, like I said, whenever I got like the email from like the Verdi gift shop website, it said girls don't cry. So I was like, girls don't cry. That's not, like, that rings a bell. I'm pretty sure there was an SB called the girls don't cry. I'm probably gonna pop down on the screen. Let me pop a market on that pair. Cause I know that pair is super exclusive. That's like a pair that you might see at like a sneaker con or something like that. And it will be, you know, you'll be like, okay, why is it at the top of the table? Like cherish, like it's a, you know, some ancient, you know, something it this anyways, let me pop a market on that pair and see what it's at. Okay, the girls don't cry SBs right now. Ask on a ten and a half is thirty two thousand dollars, but last sale was like a fifteen hundred. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, last sale was twenty two hundred dollars in a size ten and a half. So this girls Verdi's girl don't cry. That's the same guy who made is making this Verdi shoe. So it, that should just let you know how this pair might age over time. Honestly, so I'm gonna kind of get into more of what I'm you know mainly talking about in this video. Is this a good hold or sell? Honestly, if you're looking for the quick flip. If you have a pair right now and you hit on the Verdi's gift shop website and it's like saying, I'm pretty sure pairs uh, are getting shipped, like I've, I've seen a couple people say that who hit on the Verdi website say that their pair has been shipped. So I'd honestly make a, if you wanted to do the quick flip, but if you have capital and you don't mind holding on to it, cause like, you know, I know when people get pairs like this, I mean, I'm like this too. Whenever I get a good pair like this for retail, I'm not quick to sell it because I know it's gonna age well. Like for example, the Power Puff bubbles, I hit those uh for retail not a crazy size but a size seven which isn't doing too bad i wasn't crazy to sell it off because like i know stock was low i know that they're gonna hold up it's an sb cool collab same thing with this shoe i mean honestly if you want to make a quick buck if you want to make a quick three to four hundred dollars which isn't too shabby you know uh i would just sell it whenever people take l's this friday on the sneakers app i'm gonna try to get this video out either today or tomorrow which will be thursday today's wednesday september 18th to be exact so yeah they dropped the september 20th on friday so cool drop day you know they're dropping on a friday but i already know it's gonna be very disappointing but yeah i would see this being a good hold too because i mean just look at his other collabs like the verdi's girls don't cry i'm pretty sure he might have i'm pretty sure this is, like he's only this is his second sb but i'm not completely sure but yeah the literally the same person made this shoe i didn't realize the girls don't cry is literally the verdi's so it's literally the same creator so yeah i definitely see this verdi pair i think this verdi pair the verdi vistes are a lot more cooler than the other ones too because like they're more like detailed they have you know the furry stuff on it pink swoosh i mean it goes pretty hard not gonna lie the light blue it's very detailed definitely looks like a collector shoe definitely looks like something that would look really pretty on my shelving in the back you know really nice but uh yeah but anyways like i'm saying this is a good pair to hold on to also if you want to make a quick flip though you can make a couple extra hundred bucks if you want to do that i mean i don't see why not but i mean if you have a good size like a 13 or an 11 or uh, even like a 12 obviously or 11 and a half I wouldn't you know it wouldn't hurt to hold on to for you know however long i don't know if you want to be in it for like the long term because you know i'm pretty sure when when did the last ones come out let me check okay the last ones the girls don't cry one like that's the last verdi collab sb that came out in 2019 so that was five years ago so if you were to hold the verdis this pair for about five years i mean that'd be a long long hold but if you did that these would probably be going for a pretty penny not gonna lie but i don't know if anyone wants to hold them for that long honestly but even if you held them for like six months to a year, I mean, they probably, they might go up. I feel like they might go up a good amount because they're just such limited stock on this pair. But yeah, I was looking forward to getting the pair in hand, but it's honestly not looking too pretty now that I didn't hit on the Verdi website, which was like the Verdi gift shop. I'm pretty sure that's his like website or something like that. And then um, the skate shops was a way to get this pair, but let's be real. Whenever skate shops get a pair like this, like for example, Haritos or a crazy collab like this, are they really raffling it out fairly or are they, you know, hooking up their homies that they know? They're probably hooking up their homies and they're raffling out maybe like 10 out of the 30 pairs. Or I don't even think uh, skate shops got too many pairs of this pair. So that's pretty crazy. But yeah, they, this pair is like super limited. That's what I'm trying to say. But a lot of skate shops did get this pair. Like, may, like uh, most skate shops I know that I follow 
they got this pair there's a pair that like there's a skate shop like 45 minutes away from me they're doing a raffle today actually but i didn't feel like driving all the way over there i do know it's gonna be super limited why would i drive 45 minutes just to sign up for a raffle i wish like most skate shops let you sign up like online but it's all good but you know anyways though if you're this far in this video drop a like drop a sub i'm pretty excited for this release but i mean i'm not that too i'm not too excited now because i know i'm probably not gonna get this pair in hand but we'll just have to see unless i pay the hefty resale price which i'm not trying to pay re uh resell on a pair like this this is a pair that like if i got it for retail i'd do a cool review and uh, probably hold on to it i mean it looked pretty good on a table at like a sneaker show not gonna lie but you know that this, that's only for retail though i don't i wouldn't pay like resale for this pair unless i you know which it wouldn't hurt though to pay resale for this pair like right now i feel like before the sneakers release because right when the sneakers release happens this pair might skyrocket like 50 to 100 bucks in each size like especially like a size 13 that's just a super rare size hey y'all chilling 13s i've said this before 13 is my personal size so hey y'all 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 go get the nines and the nine and a halfs and the tens those are good sizes too 13 is not the only good size you know there's 12s are always super limited 11s are always super limited because they just don't make too many big size SBs, especially in like a pair like this. Like imagine like how difficult it is kind of to make the mass produce a pair like this with these furry details. I'm probably popped up this pair all over, you know, all like along this video. So y'all probably already seen this pair. And if you're watching this video, you probably know what the birdies look like. But yeah, they look very detailed. They, this doesn't look like a pair that you can produce in like a size 13 massively unless you just took a lot of time and a lot of material because a size 13 is like a bigger shoe size 12 is a bigger shoes you know stuff like that bigger shoes but i know smaller size sbs are pretty limited too for example like a size for example four and a half right now it says only seven left on stock x right now but bids only like 300 bucks i mean who's gonna wear a size four and a half men's but you know it's like a six women's i'm pretty sure so you know if you wear six women's then you know there's probably some girls wear that pair but yeah uh, I don't I think that's really all I had to talk about in this video is this a good sell or hold honestly I'd say either sell now for the quick flip if you if you want to do that But if you have a decent size like a nine plus or even like an eight really any size if you get any size in this pair Honestly, it would do good over time. I feel like I'm just pretty confident in this pair just seeing his last collab Birdies girls don't cry. I've seen that pair before I feel like I mean I, haven't, I don't think I've seen that pair in person before but I've seen a lot of like sneaker videos, you know uh, whenever you see like one of those crazy tables, you know that has a bunch of like lobsters or crazy SBs You might see a girls don't cry here and there. They're very limited though There's not too many out there, but I feel like I've seen them like in a YouTube video I don't think I've ever seen them in person, but you never know I might have But yeah, uh, I think that's really all I had to talk about drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell I don't make want to make this video too too long I think I kind of went over all details they're dropping at skate shops there did raffles at most skate shops like I said today they hosted a raffle at the skate shop near me but it's not that near me it's like an hour away so I wasn't gonna drive that far you know traffic's crazy stuff like that but yeah drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell and yeah stay tuned for more fire uh, videos so yeah peace